We need Hector. Hector, sir? You sure? I have a list of demands, of course. Get the Clappers Ring Town Clock working again. Something about this place rings a bell. I can think of only one man trying to do good for this community. Find out what he needs. 25,000. Where the bleeding hell am I supposed to pull that kind of cash? I want the hub of the Clappers Ring porn industry shut down. Alright, Crossstay, I've done everything on your list. Huh? You think that's all? You do a little spring cleaning and we all just go home? Oh, here we go. Did you place the puck in the pizza? What in the only living toss? Looks like this pizza party's over. For you. Ball bags. So, Hector, no hostages, no terrorist, just an abandoned laptop in an abandoned building. Why, one can almost say there haven't been any crimes committed at all. Except for the 37 cops you'll be spending tonight in a heap. Ah, a trifle. Merely a speck in the eye of a grand plan. Look, I'm sure it's a great story and all, but can we get on with this? I feel like I've been staring at this rifle for over a year. Ah, uh, Hector, always the here and now and never the wider scope? Fine, have it your way. Hope you don't mind if I don't stick around for what I'm sure will be profound parting words. The rifle you see before you is powered by a laptop containing highly sensitive face recognition software. Take one step closer and you'll be eating that pizza with a side order of garlic bread. <laughs> Shove it, you bellend. Laser-guided lobotomy is but a sneeze away. He said not one step closer, but he never mentioned anything about one step sideways. And apparently one step is all I'm gonna get. Just my luck. Why couldn't this have been sweet chilli? Down to me last slice. No, don't do it. I can't believe I just ruined a perfectly last slice of pizza. Oh, well, I'll still find a way to force it down, I'm sure. Oh, come on. What a waste. Look, you've ruined me last slice. Me life's hanging by a thread here. Huh? Can we stop with a bloody tutorial? Piss off. If this had been a slapstick comedy instead of an action drama, that plank probably would have smacked me in the face. Screwed on tight. Maybe I could loosen it with something. Okay, nice and slow. Hmm, nothing back there but a jumble of old wire. Still, you never know. Wiry. It's like a fishing rod a child would make, the kind that usually catches sweet bugger all. This ought to mess with that facial recognition bollocks. Here goes. It's a shame there's no one round to see this. <laughs> that even challenged my suspension of disbelief. That's the closest thing to a weapon committing suicide I've ever seen. I wonder if this is one of those check and see if it's dead moments, like in horror films. Those never turn out so well. <sighs> Seems like a logical next step. Satisfying. 
Right, let's hit the pub. The bloody beeping's getting louder. Can't be good. What in the name of all things, Bran? Oh, hell. Oh, I can't even be asked running for me life. Well, anything? No, nothing at all. Right, we're going to need another volunteer. Ah, oh, unlucky. Oh well, job done, people. Pack up and move out. Let's see the pub, lads. What? What about the hostages and Hector? Sir, look at the mess of that building. No one's coming out of there alive now, are they? It's a shame about Hector. He'll be missed. Bright side, sir. Terrorist also dead. Victory in its own cruel way. Well, well, I suppose, but... You've been through a lot today, sir. Why don't we head back to the station, pour ourselves a couple of celebratory brandies fit for two heroes, eh? Oh, yes. Brandy. Lead on. Perhaps we should commission a commemorative plaque in honour of the courageous Hector. Well, we can certainly discuss it, sir. It might be just what the men's lavatories need to give them a lift. Hector, if there's a chance you're still in there, I'll never lose hope. No permanent damage, I hope. Nothing like falling through four floors of masonry to put perspective on a hangover. I'm never going to complain about a night out on the piss ever again. Oh, fixed a crick in me back though. Small victories. I've got one hand in me pocket and the other one is... Bugger. I'm out of cigarettes. Isn't it ironic? The remains of that rifle. I should probably grab it for forensics, assuming I'll get out of here alive. Rifle didn't survive the trip down, but forensics might still be able to pull something off it. Fingers crossed the rest of the bleeding building's more useful than this room. According to my chiropractor, I shouldn't be doing this. Oh, I won't shift. That inch pin's holding it solid. Not exactly the cleanest. Thank God, I'm bursting out both sides. Uh, you may want to avert your eyes. <laughs> Please, Hector. Anything! Just any little sign! Let me know you're alive! <gasps> I recognise that! Hector! It's you! Hector! Hector! Are you there? Come in! Oh, God. Wouldn't go in there for at least a fortnight. Hector? Huh? Did, did that Lou just say my name? Oh, happy day it is, you. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> this is a new one, even for me. Hector, it's me, Lambert. Oh, Lambert, for a minute there I was... Oh, never mind. Put one of the demolition boys on so they can get me out of here. Uh, can't. They've, they've uh, gone home. They what? Well, when I say home, I mean pub. Look, don't worry, boss. I'm on this. I've got sledgehammers, explosives, screwdrivers, coloured keycards. Everything we need to get you out of this jam sandwich is right here in the trusty van. Thank God. You mean for once I don't have to come up with some kind of improvised solution using only discarded objects? Lambert? 
Lambert? You still there? Lambert? Oh. <laughs> Actually, boss. Buggeration, Lambert. What have you done wrong this time? I I'm gonna get cracking on that improvising thing you mentioned. Brill, super cop. If I need you again, which I seriously doubt, I'll just come and yell at this turd. Ah, uh, whatever makes you feel better, sir. I've run out. Sweet, merciful Hubert H. Christmas on a mechanical bull. Why can't things ever be easy? Okay, Lambert, it's the moment you've been waiting for. Time to shine. Hector's trapped, time is running out, the rest of the squad has gone home, and you're flying solo. Plus, you've lost your truck full of tools, so your only weapons are your keen sense of observation and your wits. Oh, crumbs, Hector's doomed. Oh, that's so clever. Hey, I thought we cordoned off this area. I should know, I was appointed official cordoner. Mix gave me a sash and everything. <laughs> she looks the one. Do you young ladies need assistance? We've been waiting on a taxi for four hours until someone here just told me she forgot to phone it. Oh, uh, yeah, not phoned. Citizens, please retreat from the exclusion zone and structurally unsound building. You police, you're gonna arrest us for being too sexy. <laughs> Sorry, darling, I keep the volume down. You girls better be on your way. This is not a safe area to be hanging around. I can look after myself. Anyone tries it on with me, I'll ram a stiletto in their ear. I'm scared, and there's no one to hold me. Where are you girls looking to get to? Marital Registration Office on Gilbert Road. Today's our wedding day. Well, shouldn't you be off getting ready for the big day? We are ready, you plonker. What, you say we look like a couple of skanks? You look lovely. She's all set to walk down the aisle and I'm her virgin bridesmaid, okay. Just need to get there first. Can't you walk to your destination? Ask her again when you've been dancing in heels to hardcore trance till 7am. I'll do that. What's the matter with her feet? She insisted on jamming her bunion riddle plates into pumps four sizes too small. Well, I can see how that would be uncomfortable. Tough, you'd be sorry. You got fat feet, Kaylee. Fat. Always said that. When will you admit it, dumb swaz? Oh. Is there still a chance you'll make it in time? We should have been there an hour ago. Grim's too good for her. She don't even love him. Anyway, she's got a thing going with Big Glenn. He'll not care if she don't turn up. Well, no hurry then. Well, kinda. We arranged it so the wedding service wouldn't clash with today's episode of the Jeremy Carr Show. If we don't get a set of wheels, we'll miss it. Miss the show? No, miss the wedding. There's no way I'm missing Kyle. Find out today who the real father of my neighbour Kelly's cousin's baby is. I'll see if I can arrange transport for you. Mate, if you can get us a set of wheels, I'll give you ten minutes behind the tip. I don't accept bribes, and I'm a bit of a germaphobe, to be honest. Uh, I'm referring to the rubbish tip. I didn't mean... Oh, God, this isn't going well. Could I please just borrow your shoe? I'll bring it right back, good as new. You're not, Curly. Can he have your shoe? <gasps> Go on, then. Toodaloo. Maybe I could use this shoe to pry off this vent. Huh? 
Tyler is going to be very displeased. Why do I always do stupid things when it comes to women's shoes? It's all that's left of that laptop from upstairs. Our tech lab guy will love this. He communicates politely with anything that isn't human. This thing's got the tensile strength of a railroad spike, but it's the width of an Ardox nail. Surely I can find a use for it, whatever it is. Lou with a view. Perfect. That ought to hold me weight. Well, the weight of an average human, anyway. No sign of an exit, but bloody hell. This place looks like an abattoir in a blimmin' Quincy What's-His-Face movie. Finally, a clue I can relate to. Much as I hate doing things by the book, I should probably take a sample of this for evidence. Oh, here we are. Perhaps when they find me one day in the far future, they can pry it from me cold, dead fingers to solve the case. Thank goodness I got to this plastic knife before it fell into the plastic hands of them plastic dummies in the basement. A good murder investigator always carries his own mop. Sit lap. This place just keeps getting weirder. Looks like congealed blood. Feels like congealed blood. Don't even want to think about where all this came from. It's one of them cleaning buckets with wheels on. Is this where the judges sit to critique the bloodbath? Back to the toilet. Let's see what happens when I do this. Blimey, I think that went all the way outside. Hey Lambert, I'm sending myself out to you one piece at a time. No! Oh, that's quite handy. <laughs> it's part of my job to keep knives off our city streets. seems to be shaking a bit. Oh, crumbs! There's something in there. Oh, what if it's a badger? I hate badgers. Oh, uh, police! I'm about to open the boot. Hands where I can see them. Sir, I'm Police Sergeant Lambert. How may I assist you today? Are you in need of assistance? I beg your pardon? Oh, never mind. You seem a little busy right now. Sir, I'm going to attempt to remove the tape so that we may converse freely. To do so, I may come in contact with your face. Do you wish for me to proceed? Mm -mm. I'll ask again. Do you wish for me to proceed? Mm -mm. I'll assume you mean yes. If you're harmed in this process, you may make a report to my superior. 
Oh, <coughs> oh, sank me lucky flipping stars for flip's sake. Me life's in the hands of Officer Git for brains. Hmm, not even a thank you. What day is it? Um, Tuesday, I think. No, yes, definitely Tuesday. Tuesday. What is it, morning, afternoon? It's 3.49 and 26 seconds, post-meridian. Oh, is that all? I've barely been in here an hour. And there I go already, urinating in my own trousers. I'll flip me. Hold still. <laughs> Don't cut yourself. I know, <laughs> I'm not even wearing safety gloves. There. You're free to go. Compliments of the Clappers Creek Police Service. Boy, I don't get to say that very often. Oh, you silly fellow. You never told me you had cement shoes. You can't go home like that. Listen, mate, you've done enough. Thanks for getting me this far. Hold on, I'm sure I can help. Let's be honest with ourselves here. It took you a stupid amount of time to realise I was wearing tape. And then it took you half a donkey's before you could slice a flipping rope. By the time you've wrapped your head round this one, I could have walked back to town. In fact, probably quicker if I do. Toodaloo. I never did find out what that thing was, or where he got those nice pyjamas. You're welcome. Always get someone else to clean up. Words to live by. In my experience, there's always handy stuff in discarded fridges. Oh! Ahoy, young dapper sir! Don't you jig for a penny? Oh, that's so cute! I don't think I have a penny, though. Have you got change of a tenner? A tenner? What's that? I ain't never heard of that much money, sir. Oh, oh well, could have used a bit of dancing today. It's been a bit of a downer. Why were you hiding in that revolting germ-soaked rubbish tip? Sir, that's my unassuming abode. Oh, and uh, what a lovely home it is. I, I like what you've done with the dirt. Thank you kindly, sir. Does your mother know you live in a fridge? Ain't got no mother or father. Ain't never had one. They was paupers too. Me dad died in a stampede during a sausage roll giveaway. My mum died in childbirth at the same sausage roll giveaway. That was you, the sausage roll baby of Clapper's Reek. That's me. I am rightly. That incident brought much needed attention to the bylaws regarding sausage roll giveaway crowd control. Well done, you. Guess I'm a bit of a public hero then, eh? What age are you? I have no accurate knowledge of my age. Never saw me birth certificate, nor in fact have I even had a birthday. Oh, I'm welling up now. What age do you think I'd be, sir? Well, it'd be a guess. Looking at you, I'd say you were about... three? Hey, how about we crown today your birthday? Happy third birthday, smelly trash boy! Hip, hip! <laughs> Playing in fridges can be very dangerous. I told you, sir, I live in it. Aren't you worried about suffocating? Some nights I leave it open a crack when I sleep. That's when the rats come. <laughs> How'd you end up living here? Well, I used to live in a bird box until the neighbours started complaining about the noise of my tap dancing. What do you do? I tried to tap quieter, but it's just not the same. I've got to let it out. I 
I don't suppose you've got any hand sanitizer in there? Oi, are you making fun of my disability? Oh, no, it's just I wouldn't want to catch anything off you. I mean, get my hands dirty. Uh, oh, God, I feel really itchy. Could you step back a bit? What happened to your hand? I used to shine shoes at the boot blackening factory until the operations manager took me hand off for thieving post-it notes from the staff stationery cupboard. Oh, how horrid. Bojo cast me out. And now I make a less than meagre wage on the streets of Clapper's Reach, utilising my skills as an independent shoe shine boy. You still shine shoes with the, uh, that? Well, the hook does seriously impede my ability to shine shoes without leaving huge scuffs. And between you and me, I have taken off a fair share of toes. Oh, but I'm really, really good. I could shine you now if you like. No, no, just did mine this morning. Oh? Uh, how's the shoe shining market in general? Not too good these days. Aside from the hook thing, too many trainers out there, you see? Oh, yeah, guess so. Gets me enough coinage to occasionally afford a tin of chopped tomatoes for my own survival, though. Well, that and the dancing, of course. Fare thee well. Here you are, little fella. Try this. It's... it's so beautiful. I loves it so. You don't need that nasty old hook anymore. Oh, me old mate, the hook, he's been a real friend all these years. A horrible, nasty, scabby, chafing friend. <laughs> old Bojo's gonna choke on his roast pheasant when he sees the line-up at my shoe shine stand. Oh, thank you, sir. Anything you need from me, you can have it. The hook? It's yours. Isn't it great when you do someone a favour and they think you're doing it for them, but you're really doing it for you? It's win-win. It reminds me of my last job. Oh, this trolley's seen better days. Nice set of wheels on there, though. Hey, can I have this old trolley? It depends. Will you be my daddy? Oh, well. Oh, go on. You seem such a nice fella. You can take it. But remember where you got it. Sure thing. Right next to the revolting germ soap rubbish tip. Thanks, little sport. <laughs> that way leads back to those that way leads What's he got there? A tiny matchstick house. Say, so, uh, what's that little wooden thing you're playing with? You like it? I made it myself from 483 matchsticks. It's a scale model of my dream house, complete with tiny little match family. Oh, that mustn't have been easy with a hook for a hand. Took me six years, nights and weekends. This new hand, I should be done in an hour, though. Just think, one day you could build yourself a real house out of really big matches. That'd almost be my dream come true. All I'd need then is a family who'd adopt me. <laughs> So, this house, why... My only dream in life is to live in a humble house with a family I can call me own. Maybe with one of them flat screen 3D TVs in my bedroom. I know that's never going to happen, you see. You never know. Hold on to your dreams, I say. I always dreamed I'd be a policeman and look at me now, hoking about in a soiled trash heap. <laughs> You really shouldn't be playing with matches, you know. But they're fun. But they're dangerous. Yeah, but they're also fun. 
what would I need to do for you to get a badge? Keeping in mind I already improved your life with that hand. Well, sir, there's only one other thing I could possibly want, but you've been so kind already I'm afraid to ask. Go on, it's okay. The worst I can do is laugh in your face. Well, will you be my daddy? Isn't there a three-day waiting period? <laughs> well, my wife Philomena's always talked about kids. You... you mean it? She's always saying I'll never do anything right and I can't make a decision on my own. Imagine her surprise if I came home with a new son. Okay, I'll do it. Call me Papa! Oh, sir, you wouldn't be putting me on, would you? Not a chance, son. You won't be needing your dream house anymore. My house may not be made of matches, but it's a match made in heaven for a lucky young boy like you. Oh, Daddy, I thought this day would never come. Don't hug me until you've had a long bath. Until then, make your way down to number 73 Pillock's Way. You'll know it by the blue door and stone cladding. Oh, just wait until you see it, boy. Instead of a house inside a fridge, there's a fridge inside the house. Oh, Father, finally I'm a real boy. I'll meet you there. Philomena's going to be so surprised. She can help me pick a name for the little fella. Wait, hang on. Oh, little tyke's stolen my wallet. That's all right. I'll get them back off him later. Back at the house. Joys of parenting. They're always up to something, those rascals. Need to be really careful with it. It's like I'm carrying his dreams. There. I'm sending something down to you. It's very special. It took my son six years to make. Please be very careful with it. Oh, if only I had a cigarette right now. Yo ho ho! Now where's the sodding rum? I could go fishing for sharks with this. Really, really dumb sharks. That'll just make a dull fizzle and make the room smell like barbecue turd. That'll make a crude fuse. All I need now is something with a bit of kick. Gotcha! Nice set of wills. Remember, in the land of ordinary pals, the one-wheeled bucket is king. Two and two make four. Two, four. Yeah, that's right. There. Mm-hmm. 
surprise! Look what I fixed up nice, a set of wheels! Aren't you a darling? At the risk of sounding a little weird, are either of you carrying anything explosive? Yeah, just this jumbo-sized bottle of Last Blowed, poor fans. Right, jump in, Kaylee. Oh, for Christ's sake! Come on, Kaylee. You've got to make the wedding after all. Congratulations, he's a very lucky man. Return it to Value Land, you'll get your pound back. Great. Now I can do a spot of quiff maintenance before I talk to the press outside, waiting to interview Hector, the town hero. Just need to light it. Lambert, I'm about to light the fuse. Stay back from the wall. Muffled shot, I felt in his muffled. Stay back from Hector, the muffled. I can't hear you. Distance. I'm losing what? signal. I'm coming closer to the wall. Fuse is lit. Retreat. From the wall. What's that? A treat from the mall? No time for that. Wall explosion imminent. By now, you should be well away from the wall, safely hidden behind a large object. I can now physically get no closer to the wall. Please repeat instructions. <laughs> You look like crap. It really burns. I think I've got some in my mouth. <laughs> right, let's shake a leg. We've got a bastard to catch. Have you got any hand sanitizer? <laughs> <laughs> 